What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for yet another video. Today I am stoked to introduce you to the new project for the channel. I bought a Land Rover. So here it is, my new to me LR3 with the cool little flip out key. Look at that. This is a 2006 LR3 with a heck of a lot of miles on it, about 180 to be exact. And we're looking at the front, I do have a little dent action going on right there, but that's about it. This is not how I bought this truck. I have already done a suspension lift and wheels and tires on the Land Rover. So the next video you guys are gonna get will be the installation of the Johnson Rods 2.5 inch suspension lift, as well as these wheels and tires so you'll catch that in the next episode i wanted to get this done now and then come back that way it's not just like a stock lr3 you're looking at i mean it's cool and all but this is way cooler overall this land rover is in pretty good shape all i had to do so far was uh fix the sunroof drains those are a common issue the little end piece falls off and then it gets your carpets all wet so after the first three days i did notice that the carpets were destroyed. I've looked for so long for one of these. Main thing I was looking for was a black interior. I just, you gotta have a black interior in these vehicles. This one also has the cool nav and that has all the four x four pages. One of the main reasons I got a Land Rover is for the terrain response system. So you have normal driving, grass, gravel, snow, mud ruts, I don't know, cactus and uh, running over something. Then you've got suspension, you can raise and lower the suspension, it's on air suspension, locking diff, all that good off-roady stuff. I think that is gonna make this so much fun. I know some of you are gonna be like, Ty, the reliability on a Land Rover, are you joking me right now? You're gonna try to off-road this thing and maybe overland and camp, and it's a Land Rover? Well, actually, this one's got a pretty good service record on it. Anything that needed to be replaced was replaced on time. And overall, like I said, it's in pretty good condition. We've also had seven different Land Rovers in our family. My mom loves these things. So she's had everything from Discovery 2, LR3s, a couple LR4s. She's got the new Discovery now. So we've had these for many, many years in a row. And they've always been pretty good to us. Never had any like crazy problems. Cool thing about the back with the split hatch design. So you can pop the top and the bottom open like that. And then you have a bench, rain cover. Right now I've got like golf clubs in the back and a uh, bunch of other stuff, some tools and whatnot. But interior, mint. Seeing as that the Land Rover is 14 years old, they've gotten really, really cheap and affordable now. I picked this one up for just $5,000. The wheels and other stuff, that's just added on. So I'm still well under $10,000 for a very, very capable truck. I've got a few little other things to fix here and there but I'm already so happy with this. I put more miles on this than my M6 in the last week than I have the M6 in the last month. Well, not true, but a lot. I don't wanna to get too in depth on this thing. It's gonna be an adventure rig. It's gonna be a skiing vehicle. It's gonna be a great time for adventures on the channel. If you've watched a lot of my videos, you know I'm an outdoor enthusiast. Shooting, fishing, hunting, skiing, all of that stuff is just like, just cram it in a box and just give it to me because that's what I like to do. So, I don't want to talk about this thing all that much more. I just want to introduce it to the channel so you know, hey, now there's a Land Rover on the channel, not just the BMW, and this is going to be a really fun build. So hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. The channel is growing every day, and I appreciate all of you so much. This is just going to give us a whole other avenue of adventure and content and fun stuff. So hit that subscribe button, and I'll hopefully see all of you in the next video. Let me